Hello everyone, this is Akel. Welcome to our Aptica Electronics. In this video, we are going to discuss about network layer design issues. Basically, network layers has some issues in designing. Some of the issues we have they are store store and forward packet switching, services provided to transport layer, implementation of connection design service, implementation implementation of connection oriented service let's look into detail of the issues uh, basically network layer de network layer design issue provides point to point connectivity between two hosts the network layer services has the following goals the services should be independent of router technology the transport layer should be shielded from the number of type and topology of the routers present the Network addresses made available in the transport layer should be used as a uniform numbering plan even across LANs and WANs. The network layer defines the service provided by the subnet. A subnet is an identif identifiable separate part of organizing the network. Uh, some of the, this is the first issue of the network. network. This is the host and in the a b c d e are the routers and the total part is carriers equipment and that this is the data i have taken it as a one and this is the host to where he can receive the host one sends the data and the data is transformed from A to C and C to V and E to VF routers and from F through LAN connection the data is received at the host to and what is the function of a network layer basically network layer consists of routing connection control quality of service internet working what the uh, routing does the finding a path from one host to another host so we route so we use routers connection controls mechanisms to prevent hosts from flooding the network quality of services provides the transmission rates error rates and other characteristics can be measured improved and to be some exist can in advance internet working provides transition between subnet using different protocols and let's look at the second Second design issue that is services provided to transmit transport layer. The freedom in writing detailed specification of the services to be offered to the transport layer causes bottle battles between connection oriented and connectionless services. Uh, this these are the connectionless services problems. Internet community with 30 years experience with the internet, the subnet is inherently unreliable. The host should accept this fact and do error control and flow control themselves telephone companies are connection oriented and quality of services is important and the internet starting to the associate with the connection oriented service this is the implementation of services by connectionless and connection oriented by the connectionless services we have some of the problems no advanced set setup is needed the packets are frequently called datagrams the subnet is called a datagram subnet the routing algorithm is an algorithm that manages the tables and making the route decisions connecting oriented service a path from the source router to the destination of the route must be established before any data packets can be sent the connection is called virtual circuit and subnet is also called as virtual circuit subnet to distinguish packets from different hosts, replacing connectionless identifiers in outgoing packets is called labeling switching. And this is a diagram of routing within the diagram subnet. Here we have given some of the routing, some of the routers A, B, C, D. Here A from host one, the data is sent to A, and from A to B, A to C. Here I, I have given the different 
paths that is uh, i have given without any connection that is connection due to this is a connection as service i have given to b that four packet travels to b and directly goes to b to d and d to c uh, it's maybe some of the risky matters here a, a sends to c through packet 3 and c sends to to e and f that reaches the host to this is the initial condition c table and a table uh, this is the due to this connectionless service i have given according to my interest uh, let's look at the connecting connection oriented service here i here the path is so clear that i have given a to c and c to e and e to f this is the right path i have given uh, before you go into the routing within the virtual circuit subnet here the data is transmitted uh, we, can, uh, we can't see the data how the transmission is transmission is transmitted this is only the assumption i have given the path that in the wire the the routers are uh, receiving the data and transmit the data in this path i have given some of the paths that travels the packets well, this is only the assumption i have made and uh, from the two hosts the data receives the the host h2 receives the data i have made a stable c stable and e stable according to the input and output of the data packets thanks for watching video goodbye